Before we start the lightning round, here at Mad Money, it is a long-standing tradition to celebrate Veterans Day and honor the women and men who have served our great nation. Whether we're here at the New York Stock Exchange or have our boots on the ground at West Point or the Air Force Academy, we are grateful for the sacrifices you make to keep us safe. So tonight we have a special Veterans Day edition of The Lightning Round, featuring some incredible people who have served or are currently serving in the U.S. military. And now it is time. It's time for The Lightning Round. Crazy everybody's about for a little number of with Bob, 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 Self, 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 Play the sound. And then The Lightning Round is over. Are you ready, Ski? Time for The Lightning Round. Let's start with Tim in Texas. Tim. Hey, how you doing, Jim? Thanks for all you do the veterans. Broadcom, you had Hawk Pan last year on the show. Been impressed. Haven't looked back. Broadcom. I think, Tim, that we're going to see that deal be done. I think that they're going to be allowed to buy VMware, and the stock is going to shoot up from here, which is why we went up to the club at a very good level. Bye. Michael Matthews is Michael. Jim, thanks for taking my phone call. I'm a member of your club, and I like to say you're a nicer person than my drill instructor was. <laughs> well, I pride myself. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Snowflake is a stock I'm calling about. Capital One has a target price of 195 on it. Today it closed at 156. It also looks like Frank Sloopman has sold almost 50,000 shares this year. I wish he was buying. What's your thoughts, Jim? Um, I am concerned that a company called Databricks that we had earlier this week may have a better engine, so to speak, than Snowflake. It's the first time I've had any doubt about Snowflake. I thought that Databricks, which is private, was very, very impressive. Let's go to Michael in Maine. Michael. Bing bong, Jim. They got robots that make wafers. Is it over for Ahur? Um, I don't want to say it's necessarily over because I like the testing business, but if I'm going to be in testing, I want to be in letter A, Agile. Let's go to Buck in Virginia. Buck. Hey, Kramer, thanks so much for taking my call. Thank you for everything you do. Well, how can I help? Hey, for over a decade, you've educated, taught, and entertained me, and now I'm reaping the benefits as a retiree. Thank you. My question is, my, you're very welcome. My question is about AutoZone. It nearly made an all-time high today and has finished 10 out of the last 11 sessions in the green. With so many new cars on the road now compared to previous years, do you anticipate any headwinds? I think that AutoZone is going to do fabulously. The average car on the road is still very, very old. And more important, this company is incredibly well run with a buyback that is the biggest in the New York Stock Exchange. I want you to buy it. And every time it dips, I want you to buy more. It's just one share, five shares. That's okay. It will add up. Everett in Connecticut. Everett. Hey, greetings, Jim. Thanks for the invitation to the show. Oh, uh, thanks, Peter. Okay. I called you a couple times. Uh, the most memorable time is when I met you and your wonderful wife on set at a Veterans Day show a few years ago in New Jersey. I miss those that was days awesome. so much. I miss them. We got to do Pop that again. We got to do that Day. again. Absolutely. We have, well, but yes, we have to. How can I help? I, th I thought that was the phone call, but hey. All right. Uh, happy holiday to you and yours. Kicker, NVO, Nova right. Nordisk. Nova Nordisk is very good. I still prefer Lily, particularly after the tumble that Lily took today. It took about a 5% tumble, and I think that they've got some good news coming up this weekend with the American Heart Association. I want you to be loaning either one of those, and thank you. And, yes, I miss those shows very much. Daniel in California. Daniel. Hey, Jim. Thanks for having me on. I bought this stock during the 2020 COVID lows. I'm currently up over 300%, but over the past year, the stock has been on a roller coaster ride. Should I cash out or let it ride? My stock is go go. G -O -G -O. I would, I would, I would cash out. I just don't see it. That was a good COVID stock. It's not anymore. I mean, good in that it was so low. I, Daniel, I just wish I could give you something positive. I don't have anything good about that. Let's go to Nicholas in Wisconsin. Nicholas. Hey, Jim. How are you? I am good, Nicholas. How about you doing? What's going on? I'm doing well. Uh, my question is about Dreamfinders Homes. Uh, last week, during their third quarter report, they reported that they grew revenue 14% and pre-tax profits 27%. I'm wondering, with mortgage rates up around 8% and staying there, do you think they'll have continued success, or are they going to tailor off and start to sink? No, I think they're going to have continued success. I think they have a unique model. I really like it. Did some work on it just the other day. I think you got a good one there, and I would stay along it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for your service, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, tech may be the bell of the ball, but don't forget to work the room. Put diversification on your dance card when Mad Money returns. 
Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.